In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the half Windsor knot as shown on the left and the full Windsor knot as shown on the right. Alright folks, we're going to start with the half Windsor. Now, just to note, I'm wearing a wide collar shirt. The half Windsor does look better with a more narrow collar. First thing, wrap the tie around your neck, leaving the ends hanging in front of you with the thicker side on your right and going down to about your groin. I'm six foot three, so I'm probably going to have less on my left than you will. That's better for you. Take the larger end and cross it in front over the smaller end. Switch hands and pull the larger end up underneath. Now cross the large end behind and switch hands again. Now cross it in front to finish the loop. Bring it behind up the middle and down through the opening that you just made by wrapping it around. Pull down on the thin end while sliding the knot up towards your neck and into place. Lightly tug the top to sharpen the bottom of the tie triangle. Now we want to pinch it to add that divot to make the tie look nicer. And then finish sliding the tie into place. Like I said, I'm tall, so I don't have enough of the narrow end to tuck it into the keeper loop. So what I do is I tuck it into my shirt like so. You want the bottom of the tie to end on your belt buckle. Don't forget to pull your collar down or you'll look like a vampire. And there you have the half Windsor. Next is the full Windsor knot. As you can see, it looks a lot better on a wider collar than the half Windsor did. This one starts off the same as the half. Cross the long side over from the front and switch hands. Bring that long side up from behind on the same side. Then bring it across from behind and then over the top from the front. Create the loop by bringing it across the front to the other side and then up from behind. And we're going to slide it down through that loop we just created. As you can see, the difference with the full Windsor is we wrap this one around the collar twice, once on each side. Pinch it to create the divot and straighten it up. Click here to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out this video here. And I'll see you there.